And more random ass commentary. So we just got done um, killing the Baron Flint guy. And um, all right, and this uh, fucking Commandant Steel bitch is uh, she's threatening me, saying I need to get off Pandora, and um, or else you know shit's gonna happen. And when she was just talking there, she's telling me that she's shut, she's shutting down the um, the communication service. You know how all these people can talk to me when I'm just roaming around. There's this uh, communication service where it uh. What a, how, how, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. You know, it's like a cell phone service. Same thing. It's just more advanced to where they can just talk, talk to my fucking head. Well, they're shutting that shit down, and it gets interrupted right here. While the angel bitch is talking to me about some stupid crap, and um, yeah, so nobody's gonna be able to talk to me until I get that shit back up, and I will get that shit back up. It's just a matter of time. And uh, first thing I gotta do. Commandant Steele and the fucking her douchebags, they went and um, they went and kidnapped Tannis so they could find out where the vault is, and so they know where the vault is now. So it's, t it's letting you know that you're getting close to the end of the game, and actually this is like the beginning of the end. So um, it, it all goes pretty quick after this. Like I I did from here to the end all in one sitting. Like well actually before this to the end and all in one sitting but it took a while so uh, like I said in the last few videos or whatever it's like uh, probably nine more videos nine or ten something like it depends on how I split them up because I can't really remember how long it was so whatever so um now we're gonna go find Tannis which is gonna take us to a new area where um this video we do have a boss battle I mean it's not like I don't know. It's not like a big boss. It's not as big of a boss as Baron Flint. I don't think. Uh, whatever. They're all pretty small boss battles anyway. But this is another boss battle with um I don't know. I forget the I forget the dude's name honestly. But um he's pretty badass. He's got a got a nice gun. But the entrance to this place is kind of hidden. But I mean it direct that little fucking green diamond thing always directs you in the right spot so that's all you gotta do like I don't even need to show you where this show you guys where this shit is because all you gotta do is follow the damn green triangle and I f fuck up right there I thought it was down that one but it's down this next one and um I was about to say the name of the place but I forget oh yeah the back door we going in the back door it's gonna hurt. <laughs> That's what she said. But yeah, um, just gonna work our way through this cave. There's just uh, there's a bunch of spider ants and shit in here. Nothing too bad. Fucking rolling spider ants. But this gun, I, this gun I got. I talked about it in the last video, but this gun I got is fucking. Fucking sweet! I just wish it had better accuracy and um, some elemental damage. Then it would be like the most beastly gun um, I've had on this game. Well, I don't know. I can't say that because I, I got I had this one revolver. I'm on one of my other siren characters. I got like three siren characters or some shit like that. And uh, she's got a fucking revolver, a six shooter. That's an automatic six shooter. Reloads really fast. And it's got like 400 something damage, like 450 damage on it, like 90% accuracy. Fire rates like fucking, fucking high for a revolver. And it's got all the elements. It's mixed. It's like, oh, what is it called? It's the Chimera. Oh yeah, and if uh, if you didn't know what a Chimera is, actually I forget how to explain it. <laughs> it's like, it's like half and. Half. Oh, it's weird. There's these people that are called chimeras. It's very rare, and it's like it it can be it can be different types of things. Like it can be half man, half woman, but not like in the sense you're thinking of. Um, but usually it's like half black, half white, some shit like that. But it's not like it's not like they're mixed. It's like there's a fucking line down the center of their body, 
or like at their waist where like like half of them will be like white and half of them will be black it's a uh, it's pretty rare I've, I've watched some shows on it and actually um it doesn't even have to be that it doesn't even have to be color there is people that have like two different dna like strains in them like you take the blood once and um you'll get one dna and then randomly you take it again, you'll get a full another DNA. It's it's weird. I watched a show on it. I might not be completely accurate on what I just said on everything, but I think that's how it works. Like, and it's there's only a few people in the world right now that that have this that they know of. Like you won't you wouldn't even know. I mean, unless you're like the half black half white thing. If it's the DNA thing, you would never know. Unless they, um, unless you had multiple DNA samples taken from you and that came up different, um, and it it might come up the same and you might still be a chimera. Um, you, it's just random. You never know. So uh, it, it's extremely rare. Well, they think it's extremely rare. Yeah, I mean, I guess you'd have to test everybody to find out. But um, yeah, don't hold me to that. If you know more about it than what I'm talking about, um, I don't know, let me know or whatever. But I might be wrong on part of that. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, some interesting information that actually hasn't, well, that does have something to do with that gun, because it's got all the different elements. It's got bullets for all the different elements, so it's like a mix of all the different elemental guns. It, it was kind of sweet. I hope I find it again, because, uh, it was one of them, like, like, dark orange ones, I believe it was, like the extremely rare items, and I will not be getting rid of that ever. Even though I haven't played on that character in forever, but uh, yeah, that's my favorite gun. In fact, I want to fucking uh, I want to switch it, but I gotta find somebody that plays this game that I can trust. Cause what you gotta do, oh yeah, here's the the boss or whatever, whatever the fuck his name is, um, Master McCloud. He's got a irradian weapon. It's an alien gun. But yeah, if I could find somebody like that I trusted, that's on my friends list, which I don't know. I don't even know if I still feel comfortable doing it. I'll explain it right now. How 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 you uh, trade? How you can get weapons on to different um, different characters? You gotta you gotta go into a a co-op and drop and drop your weapon and have your friend pick it up, and then you get out of the game and have them like store it and save it or whatever. Now get out of the game and go back into the game with a different character and have them drop your weapon and you pick it up with that new character. And uh, I mean it's pretty easy. But that's the only way you can transfer your weapons over to uh, new characters. Now, I, I did it once with a different weapon. But I, I didn't really know the dude. But he actually came through and um, didn't leave or screw me out of my weapon or anything. And I, I forget which weapon it was. It was it was a pretty sweet gun, too. I mean, it wasn't nothing special, but I just wanted it on a different character. I don't know. I wish they set something up like that where... Or you could trade them in between accounts, cause that that would be awesome. Cause I always get like, like I specialize on the siren with a uh, SMGs, and you know on the soldier with assault rifles. And if I get one assault rifle on my siren, I want, I'd like to be able to, if I, if it's badass enough, I'd like to give it to my soldier, cause he would be able to use it to his full potential. But, you know, whatever. That would just be a sweet addition to the game. But I think it would be kind of hard for him to do. But I'm not a programmer. I have no fucking clue. So anyway, we we take that dude out. This video, by the way, is going to be two parts before we get to Tannis. The the first half is almost coming into an end. But there's a there's a box up here. It's extremely hard to get to, and I don't actually get to it this time because I just give up. But I'm showing you how to get to it. There, you can go up either side of this thing right here on the rocks. You get up to here. These boxes of cash, whatever. And you got to stand on the boxes of cash and jump to this ledge right here this ledge up there but I don't get it in this uh, in this video I don't get it it's on it's the same thing on both sides there's a certain way you gotta jump up there and then you can jump up and get the box but um I just gave up cuz I mean whatever it's just another weapons crate but it's pretty cool I actually uh, somebody told me about this too when I was in a co-op like when the f game first came out they knew about it and here I'm trying to go up the other side and I just give up after after one attempt over here because I just don't want to fuck with it anymore. I'm trying to keep the videos short. Don't really got time to fuck around with it. But yeah, I almost got it. 
you gotta you gotta jump up on there. But anyway, this video's over. See you in the next one. Peace.